The following contest is a TNA Knockouts Tag Team matchup. Introducing, first of all, the team of Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. They are the beautiful people. Oh, yes. That's all I have to say. Holla. Holla, yes. And that's really off the same. Some tongue tied. Give a holla, Mike. Your favorite entrance in the history of professional wrestling to have the beautiful people. And think yeah. about this. Yes. Not only does Velvet Sky have her focus on avenging the recent losing streak against Serena and Rosita, she's also dealing Hold on. with Hold Angelina on. Love's oh. knockout champion tag team partner, Winter. And I'm going to talk Cage more ball. about that Cage in just ball. a second after Taz lets you know. Well, you just got to sometimes just let the pigeons loose. Gosh. Golly gee. Oh, my God. One more pigeon is gonna. <laughs> there he goes. He's out. Wow. Gotta love it. Velvet Sky, Angelina Love. By the way, tag team if you action. Don't, if you don't have high def, you gotta get it. Losers. His opponent in this non title contest from Gainesville, Georgia. He is the TNA heavyweight champion of the world. From the moment that AJ Styles agreed to meet Kurt Angle in a match that is just three days away from AJ's TNA World Heavyweight Championship defense against Sting at Bound for Glory, Taz, you and I have had a difference of opinion. Yeah, I just don't, I don't agree with this. I don't think AJ should be doing what he's about to do here. Get in the ring with, in my opinion, the best wrestler in the world today, Kurt Angle. Weighing it at 242 pounds, the icon, Sting! They stand as one at the Crown Coliseum in Fayetteville, North Carolina, because the icon Sting has returned to TNA, and tonight Sting is gonna challenge Jeff Hardy for the TNA World Heavyweight title. And Jeff Hardy, he looked like he saw a ghost. Sting, back right here in TNA. Our live audience here, our TNA fan base, right here in Fayetteville, thousands of them. Going freaking nuts for the icon. For the past four months, we haven't seen Stay. He walked away from TNA so that he didn't have to deal with Hulk Hogan. He didn't have to deal with Eric Bischoff, and he didn't have to deal with the mortals. But the network has spoken, and the network has picked the icon Sting to challenge Immortals Jeff Hardy for the title. The opening contest for Bound for Glory is scheduled for one fall. Introducing, first of all, from the Isle of Samoa, he is the undefeated Samoan submission machine, Samoa Show.
similar to a match in Japan as the screamers are tossed into the ring. They love Douche and Thunder Liger, and you can tell the level of anticipation is so high for this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Liger against the unbeaten Samoa Joe. How do you top this fight? What a way to start off. In attendance at ringside, the president of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Simon Enoki, is with us at Bound for Glory. And here comes his opponent, the reigning, the defending NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Yes, the King of the Mountain, and he is accompanied to the ring by Dale Kim. Here comes a man who has been so dominant in the TNA era. TNA wrestling in existence for just under four years. This man, Jeff Jarrett, has held the NWA World Heavyweight Championship for two and a half of those four years. Like him, hate him, you gotta respect how he has survived. How he continues to stay the champion. It's unbelievable that no matter what odds are thrown at him, it always seems like the king of the mountain is the last man standing. And then when you factor Earl Hebner into the equation as the referee, the brother of TNA management consultant Dave Hebner. I smell a rat. I smell a rat. Well, there's one thing you can say about Earl Hebner. He's always been very loyal to his employer. He's always been very loyal to management. Well, he's gonna have to be tonight because he's gonna be scrutinized more than any other referee has in a long, long time. Three live crew in the role of the challengers. They've gonna take it to Team Canada champions. Well, I'll tell you something with it. What's going on? Next oh, match is scheduled. Oh. Next match is scheduled to be for the tag team well, championship. It's gonna take a minute because here he comes. Talk about an impromptu appearance. Scott Hall just interrupted our on camera. And Scott Hall is making his way down the ramp towards the ring. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. See what he's got to say. We know he said that he was in the camp of Jeff Jarrett. Let's see what's on his mind. Is the crowd going crazy for one of the great? Maybe he will shed some light yes. on this situation involving Kevin Nash. We had heard that Scott Hall was here, and of course, you mentioned it, supporting Jeff Jarrett. No one has seen Kevin Nash, however, at any point today here at the arena in Orlando, Florida. What wow, a reaction. What a reaction. Hall. Get ready to say that. What a crowd reaction. They're on their feet. They're standing as one. Any idea what he's going to say? Oh, uh... No, 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 no. Let, let him do it, let him do it. Let him do it, Don. Well, 
Well, I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second, and I'm going to say that it was time that TNA management called the bluffs of the British invasion, and that's exactly what they've done with this match. Yeah, well, if if Rude and Storm are successful here, if Beer Money wins this match, they earn their way into the tag team title match this Sunday at Turning Point. And TNA management, as a result of knowing that the Brits have employed every underhanded shortcut to keep the gold, whether it was blatantly protecting the titles by getting purposely disqualified, whether it was milking those suspensions, well, they've taken all those loopholes away tonight well, because Beer Money can advance the turning point in the tag title match if the Brits get pinned, disqualified, or get counted out. I was gonna say that's definitely not milk that uh, Mr. Storm was guzzling. You said the word milk and I kinda had a line in there, but you know, whatever. Anyway, we're moving on. At this time, please welcome the Mattapinai drum and dancers led by Chief Lino Custolo. Yeah. 
Jersey, Black Machismo Chilito! He's been there before. Black Machismo Chilito has been X Division champion, but Don, he's never had to face anyone of the quality of the athlete of the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle, and with Kurt Angle already having one loss tonight and no surrender, then realizing that, yes, the X Division Championship is on the line here, not exactly sure that I'd like to be in the boots of Black Machismo. Well, you talk about the consummate underdog. I mean, let's face it, you throw in the experience, you throw in the just the quality of, of the talent that Kurt Angle has, you look at Jay Lethal as, does he even have a chance? But Tonight, the Lucha Brothers will respect LAX. Don, it really started to unravel between these two teams. Conan wanted them to keep it familiar, keep it family, have competitive matches. It was a powder keg. It really was. And his opponent, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he is the only Olympic gold medalist in professional wrestling history, he is Kurt Ladies and gentlemen, we will never forget the date, September 24th, 2006, at the conclusion of the No Surrender pay-per-view. TNA management, Jim Cornette, proudly announced the signing of the Olympic gold medalist and the man who is the greatest wrestler in professional wrestling, Kurt Angle. Resume unparalleled. Two-time NCAA Division I heavyweight champion. He capped off his illustrious amateur wrestling career by winning a gold medal at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, despite competing with a broken neck. He is the only man who you can state is the greatest amateur and the greatest professional wrestler. It's what separates him from everyone else, and I've been told that by everyone from the late Lou Fez to Harley Race to Bret Hart. Kurt Angle, welcome to TNA. Her opponent stands six feet, one inches tall. She weighs 200. 
172 and 3 eighths pounds, she is Awesome You can just, I mean, I don't know about you, Mike, but I could just sense like an aura coming off of Awesome Kong. Like she's about to enter her realm. We've often referenced Awesome Kong as that dominant figure in the TNA knockout division. And now over the course of the past several weeks with her handler, Raisha Saeed, being eliminated, she's been absolutely unstoppable. Deal, I'll tell you the deal when I get good and ready to tell you. But look at that magnificent tag team. The outlaw and the alpha male are going to take it to everybody who gets in their way today at Impact. Boy, here's the guy that took it to you last week. Boy, I excited you. I'll give him that. But he had to the defense, Kevin Nash. And you know that they're ready for you. And that's Diamond Dallas Page and Sean Walden. Mike Tanay, just like I said last week, they don't know when and they don't know where. But I will fire the second shot. Kevin Nash wants to come in here, and we'll find out who ends up on top today. And you thought that you had your hands at this time. Please allow me to introduce back to the announce booth once again, the legendary Bobby the Brain Heenan. Oh, yeah. They're on their feet for the return of a legend, for the return Bobby Heaney going to say hello to some of the celebrities in attendance here. There's Jeff Torborg, of course the father of Neil Torborg, former manager of the Marlins, the Mets, and the Sox. They're the handshake for Johnny Damon. What a special moment this is for everyone. Brain, get on. No, not that way. Get around here. My friend, this is a moment, this is a reunion that I've been waiting for for about four years, and it's great to have you back. Put on that headset, you're back where you belong. Five bucks, put on the headset. Think about the strength, the attitude, it's unbelievable. Talk about Jeff Jarrett, gave him everything, the car shot, air shot, you name it, the stroke. Mighty Brown kept coming back. You think about the magic turning point with the monster of this. I mean, a body can't take the destruction that he took. You can see him wrapped up, but you know what? He not only took it, he ended up getting the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we're talking and pointing out the battle stars that these competitors, that these warriors have from this half Sunday's turning point pay per view. But if you didn't have a chance to witness it, then you can't realize how they put their bodies on the line. This past Sunday at TNA's final pay-per-view of 2008, final resolution, the domination of the main event mafia continued. Not only did Kurt Angle one-up, Jeff Jarrett's handpick, special enforcer Mick Foley, using Al Snow as a distraction in the victory over Rhino, but the Mafia also overcame an incredible effort by the TNA frontline as Sting regained his TNA World Heavyweight Championship and Don, the frontline just this close to gaining possession of the title belt that would have given them the political clout and the leverage they need. I mean, the main event mafia knows how important the belt is, that world championship belt, and to keep it on their side. And it was Kevin Nash in a controversial low blow to Samoa Joe when he had Sting up in that muscle buster, when he had Sting in his sights and it looked like it was all over. Kevin Nash proved the difference and Sting got the win. On deck. Introducing his opponent from Japan, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling, this is Tanahashi! He returns to the six-sided TNA ring after an impressive matchup at Final Resolution on pay-per-view. 
you see him wearing the championship belt of New Japan Pro Wrestling's U30 division. U is an under, the under 30 division, it's an open weight class. Heavyweights, light heavyweights, junior heavyweights, as they're often known in Japan, similar to the X division style that we have here in TNA. Boy, Tanahashi, quite a showing at final resolution against AJ Styles, and TNA management puts him right back into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling, the IWGP Heavyweight Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. It's Mike today and Don West at ringside for this explosion exclusive matchup. And I have to give a tip of the hat to the TNA matchmakers for making, in the words of Casey Kasem, a concerted effort to bring the top stars from around the world to TNA and have them featured here on Explosion, like the IWGP Interim Heavyweight Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. We'll discuss that during the entrance of his opponent. If you watch Global Impact, you know that Kurt Angle is the current holder of the other IWGP title. Her opponent from the state of California, Tara! She debuted two weeks ago here on Impact. Tara, formerly known as Victoria, has turned the knockout division and the beautiful people upside down. She has had an answer for anything and everything that Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, and Madison Rain have hit her with. And Tara is next in line for a shot at Angelina Love's Knockout Championship coming up at Slammiversary in Detroit. Introducing our opponent, she is the TNA Knockout Champion of the World, Madison Rain. Tale of the tape, we talked about that very physical, anything goes street fight matchup. Have to point out, that that night on Impact Wrestling, it was Lady Tapa interfering in the non-title bout to gain the victory for Gail Kim. I think tonight we're gonna see if this steel cage is gonna limit the interference of Lady Tapa circling the cage in the ring. See if the steel cage leads us to a one-on-one -on -one situation. Like, how can it not? Come on, you're killing me. How can it not? How can it not? We're gonna see. How can it not? How could it not? It's a steel cage. She's a woman. Big Amazon woman. I got it. You don't really? How could it not? What you gonna do? Rip the cage down? What you gonna do? Yeah. You really think so? Take a look. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first Aces and Aces. Massive, high stakes main event tag team matchup. Aces and Aces the main event mafia, the outnumbered main event mafia, where the loser of the fall in this match is gone for good, history. Well, I can assure you it will not be one of these men that are walking out now from the esteemed, lovely group known as the Aces and Aces. None of these men will lose their career in this, main, in this match here this evening. It's not happening. Vice President Anderson, Nux, Garrett Bischoff, Wes Briscoe, and Devon form the five man Aces and Eights team. Ian Rhino. His opponent from the streets of Harlem, New York, the Pope, D'Angelo Guerrero. It has already been a very busy, very eventful night for the Pope, D'Angelo Guerrero, and he hasn't even wrestled yet. And Taz, if you'll look to the ceiling, you can see it's raining De Niro in the impact zone. Ah, uh, whatever the Pope's out, I said it last week, I'll say it again, he's in a given move. And last week was Thanksgiving, and today is just Thursday. But anyway, the Pope's always giving. Nice segue. <laughs> Thank you. Just Thursday. Well, I, I, to me, I gotta tell you, I, I'm looking, you know, at Jesse Neal when he walked out here, and, and as we've seen Jesse Neal this, um, I don't know if it's an evolution. That's really not the right word. I mean, what the heck did Team 3D do to Jesse Neal? More of a transformation than an evolution, yes, isn't it? Yes, 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 absolutely. Mr. Nelson, we do not hold us because we're 
smarter than you and show some respect para los reyes de la lucha libre, los embajadores de la violencia, el Latin American Exchange. That is Moody Jack Melendez from the Spanish broadcast table with the introduction of the, and let me underline this, the former NWA World Tag Team Champion, Homicide Hernandez. The Latin American exchange led to the ring by the mastermind, Conan, and they don't even wait for the opening bell. They are on the attack here. Look at this against Tyler Black. Oh, Whoa, did you see Hernandez? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a number one contenders match. It is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Cameron, North Carolina, the charismatic enigma, Jones Hardy! Nobody knows better than Hulk Hogan how important it is to be world champion. He told you all about the prestige and the paycheck. Holding the world title belt, it's a career changer. Either Jeff Hardy or RVD, they'll get that chance against AJ Styles. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to witness a very special moment in wrestling history. This is Michael Francis Foley, called by Jeff Jarrett, the greatest acquisition in the six years of this company's existence. He now has officially joined the TNA family. Whether you first knew him as Cactus Jack, Mankind, Dude Love, or Mick Foley, you knew you would always remember. You would always connect with this industry's most unforgettable character. You might label him a pro wrestler, but you can't just limit that. A multi-time best-selling author, an actor, the subject of a noted documentary, most recently, a wrestling commentator. And now, it's time to find out what issues Mick Foley will address on Impact. Sorry about your damn luck. Oh, oh, oh my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> And his opponent, from Lee Burksport, Tennessee, the Cowboy, Dan Storm! For the past several months, we have seen that the Cowboy, James Storm, was at a career crossroads. Taz actually questioning whether he should ever return to the ring. But how appropriate is it? But it's slam anniversary, our 10 year anniversary. It's one of the TNA originals who makes his return and steps up to the plate, and James Storm answers the open challenge. Whoa! Biz Cliz. Wait, what? what? What's going on? Whoa. What is this? I'm waiting on the monitor, I can't, everyone's I looking this for me. A ploy. There's no way, he is. Oh, the leader of the Bullet Club, and that has been a very controversial faction. Back and forth, people have been going with, who is Bullet Club, who is Elite? Jay White is in the impact zone. The crowd is stunned and How silent. God's name is he here? And for what? Is Jay White the guy? Is Jay White the guy to beat Kenny Omega? For this never open weight championship? I, 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 I'm sitting here, I, I am disbelief to what's going on. Jay White is here in the Impact Zone. Social media is exploding right now. And now Jay White standing in the ring with the Biz Cliz. Jay White, who has carried New Japan Pro Wrestling and the Bullet Club. Now stands in the ring across from Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers and Don Callis. And just throw it up. Just throwing it up right here. 
Just throwing it up. Kind of looking at Jay. Is this? Uh, what's going on? I have no idea. And now, introducing their opponents. They are the TNA World Tag Team Champions. The team of Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. The Motor C Machine Guy. for the World Tag Team Champions, the Guns, man. Incredible response for the Motor City Machine Guns. Saban and Shelly looking to prove to the world that they belong on top of the tag team division. They finally did it. Five years in the making, Motor City Machine Guns representing Detroit, Michigan. They're finally the TNA World Tag Team title holders. They had that incredible series on impact with Beer Money Incorporated. And now it's Generation Me looking to knock the guns off the top. Well, folks, for those of you out there who've never witnessed the Motor City Machine Guns in action or Generation Me, especially against each other, you're in for something special. The one and only, the Professor Mike Tenet!